You. Can I skip this? Thank you. Goodbye. All right. So. Eh. All right. What I want to do? Oh, I didn't fucking get it, did I? Oh, unbelievable. I didn't get it when I went. No, I sure didn't. Okay, never mind. We can, we can do it without. Sorry, I wasted your time. Thought I picked it up when I went through the catacombs, but I did not. I completely forgot about that. Shit happens, you know, shit happens. At least this only took about one video to get through. And now we can move on to new shit and possibly dying. Because certain parts of An Orlando are really shitty. And here we are, back at Sun's Fortress, look at that. Relatively painless, I would have to say. That could have been a lot worse if I didn't remember to use a homeward bone. Which I'm sure a lot of comments in one of the last videos was like, why doesn't you just use a homeward bone and get back? Well, I did. You just didn't know I was going to until I figured it out myself. Unfortunately, we still have to run past all this shit, which is another, you know, two minutes of time, but... Last I remember, people wanted me to stop rushing through games so much, because apparently I don't stop and, you know, savor... Savor the amazing game. Apparently I just, you know, blow through it and I play it wrong. But then when I take my time, people just want me to get back to the main... The main shit. They don't want to see me do all this stuff. And now another thought just popped into my head, but I can't remember why I would have gone there in the first place. All in due time. Not sure why I'm doing this either, because this is only a thousand souls, but, you know. It's extremely low risk, it just takes a little bit. Much better than shooting the dragon tail off. Two more arrows, one and two, you're dead. Awesome. Let's go back to An Orlando. And carry on. All oh, thousand all oh, the one thousand souls. Amazing. So very worth it. I think this knight spawns over here. Yep, sure does. Too bad I didn't go and kill him. Though I think he only gives about eight hundred souls and doesn't really drop anything I'd want to use, so. Not exactly necessary to get him out of there. Not exactly necessary. Indubitably. Does this guy even drop anything besides a stupid crossbow? I have no idea. Alright, so yeah, that was relatively painless. That was much better than I thought. I thought that was going to take like an hour. It only took about a quarter of the time. And we've already seen that, so we don't need to see that again, right? Skip it. But yeah, look at this place. This place looks awesome. Too bad we never go to, like, any of this. We mostly uh, congregate in this big building right there, and most of it is kind of done in there. But look at this place. This place looks awesome. Had this been a larger RPG, if you could have gone in all these places, then holy shit, that would have been fucking crazy. But still, this place is... It's a welcome change from the otherwise dreary world. It's nice. I liked it. It was, it was one of my favorite places. Until I ran into those stupid-ass archers. That was when shit went to hell. Oh, fuck. Oh! No, he broke through my shielding, that ass. Come on. Why am I having so much trouble with this guy? Die. Thank you. Doesn't matter if I take an Estus Flask. Alright, here we go. Alright, so I'm gonna walk in, shoot this guy in his leg, he'll come towards me because he's pissed. And then we can battle like men. Fisticuffs. Out in the- oh fuck, ow. Alright, well. Aren't you just a fun character? Damn this guy's stupid shield. Thank you. I know these guys drop stuff, but it seems to be rare. They drop like a giant's halberd and a giant shield. Neither of which we'll be using. Ow. What the fuck? Ugh! Ow. I'm gonna take one of these real quick. Hold on. Oh yeah! Look at that right there. Get out of here. Sweet shin music. Oh goddamn, your shield! Fuck this. 
Oh, pfft. under the legs, and he went over me. Couldn't do that again easily if I wanted to. And since we're close to a level up, I might as well kill the other three guys that are over yonder. I think I need uh, 4,000 more souls for a level up. And these guys will have 4,500, so I'm thinking smart here. I have to go back to that bonfire anyway. I might as well get another level up out of it. You know, some more vitality or endurance or something of that nature. Human leg. He won't. Oh, yeah, he will follow me. Huh. Thought he was going to sit over there. All right. Let's dance, sir. I challenge you to fisticuffs. I challenge you to a jumping backwards challenge. This guy would win without a doubt. Without a doubt. Farewell, sir. You fought valiantly, but not valiantly enough. Probably let my stamina come back. Holy shit. Ugh! Look at that. Look at that right there. Look at that right there. Oh, come on. That was not his shield. Fuck. What? He bounced back pretty quick from that, didn't he? He bounced back super quick. I don't know about that. I'm calling shenanigans on that right there. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not taking this little path over here, uh, right now there's nothing over there, I don't think. There might, there might be an item. Oh, this guy's done. I should probably check it real quick. Uh, there might be an item, but there's a golden fog gate here that will not let me pass until uh, a certain requirement has been met. However, there might be an item over here. I don't remember. But yeah, if you try to go up to this golden fog gate, it's just like uh, sealed by the Great Lord's power. Won't be able to do anything with that. Not for another couple hours, I would imagine, because we have to go through an Orlando, and then we have to go through that painting world, which the painting world will be before the end of an Orlando. Then we have to go back to Firelink Shrine, and then I think the fog gates get lifted. Still a little ways out, trust me. I know some of you are very anxious about that golden fog gate, but... It's not necessary right now. You know, ho hold that anxiousness for a little bit. You know, a couple dozen more episodes and we'll be there. Or maybe just a dozen. I don't know. Level up! I beat it by about 1,300, 1,200 souls, somewhere around there. So what should I get? My vitality's at 20, which is higher than what I would like it to be right now. Um, faith, intelligence, resistance. No point in upgrading those anymore. Attunement, not really necessary, so uh, it's either vital Vitality, Dexterity, or Endurance, or Strength. Which, as you can see, Strength wouldn't really do as much for me as, you know, one of these, so... I'll probably go Endurance. There's another three stamina, some more equipped load. Sounds good to me. Now we can actually uh, continue on and go over here. We'll actually make progress through An Orlando. It's going to be great, trust me. It's going to be just amazing. Elevator! Look at this place. This place looks nice. I wish I lived in a place like this. Fuck technology. You know, if you lived, like, I don't know, in the Middle Ages, this would be the pinnacle of technology. You got an elevator. You got a gargoyle guard in your bridge. In fact, I don't even know if they had elevators back then. I mean, I know they wouldn't have, like, a modern elevator, but... Maybe, maybe they'll have, ow, maybe they'll have some sort of elevator. God damn it. Cut off his tail! Fucking cut the tail off. Eh! Are you gonna stop jumping? Oh, okay, you wanna bitch smack me? Come on, let's go then. Fuck your tail. I don't even care about your stupid ass weapon. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're dead, aren't you? Nope. Ah! Ah! Uh, there's a weapon gone forever. Gargoyle shield. 2,500 souls for that mini boss. I believe that is an electric version of the Bell Gargoyle, and as you can see, that is death. I also don't really like this area. Like, this, this kind of confused me a little bit, because I was wondering where to go, and then I saw this. 
And I was like, okay, maybe this is like a, a secret or something. Like, I, I looked around here for a little bit. There might be items around here. But I, I looked around here for a little bit. And I thought, okay, maybe, maybe this is where I need to go. But then there was nothing here. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Okay. So there is an item here. What the item is, I forgot. Demon Titanite. Oh, that's more Demon Titanite, I guess. But it's just kind of like a, a confusing design. The game already doesn't really tell you where to go. Which I guess is good or bad, depending on how you look at it. You know, if you're... If you're sort of a hardcore gamer and you're like, you know, gaming's being ruined by people who, you know, need waypoints and world maps and stuff like that, then you probably like this game a lot and you wouldn't you wouldn't like me saying stuff, but the game doesn't tell you where to go. There's no real map. They just kind of hint at different things and this kind of confused me cuz I was like, okay, you have to run up this thing. And then you have to jump across here-ish. And there's a broken window here. Like, one random broken window. You can't break them, but you can walk in them. And then you have these weird-ass fucking, like, Ninja Turtle guys jump down. Shredder's army or some bullcrap. They don't give a lot of souls, but they're annoying. They throw throwing knives and... Pretty sure they can backstab you if you're not careful. But look, I can backstab too! Fuck you. Report back to Shredder. Tell him what you've done here. Tell him if he sends more men, I'll kill him too. But yeah, this part this part sucks. It's like a balancing act. And I've I've fallen off of this a couple times, so Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not too uh I'm not too confident in myself with, with this area here. Especially because they have guys guarding the beams up here. Like, why? Why do you need guys guarding the beams up here? Do the beams not guard themselves well enough? Do they... Do they not? Yeah, let's go. Come on. Oh, wow, he dodged it. Oh, fuck! Alright. Oh, we're good. Okay. There goes all my stamina, though, from that one guy. He also dropped something. Oh, throwing knives before he fell off. Heh <laughs> heh. Yeah, what a jerk. Alright. Continue walking across the path. I, I try to be cautious here. You know, I, I don't want to fall off, but... Still. Uh, still. I also don't know if you can jump over there, if that would make it any better. You might just get stuck. You probably can't even make that jump, so never mind. But hopefully once I get across this the first time, I'll never have to get across this again. Alright. Yeah. Fucking throwing knife dickbag. bag. 